And welcome back to Flexible Games, where we are playing Factorio in our Back to Basics episode series. So we probably don't have enough. Well, we might. So we need petroleum gas. Ooh, that one's going to be tough. I'm going to have to underground that plastic. And we need water. So I'm going to do two out here. Craft time in this is pretty good, I think. Two for one second? Yeah. So we got lots. So let's do petroleum gas first. And this one is going to have to be an underground. Oh, yeah, I have an odd number of pipes because of the biter attack. Okay, petroleum gas, we can sort of plug right into our gas. Um, if I take this one down and this one over, I should be able to plug all that right in. And the water is a system. Let's uh, underground this stuff here. I'm going to do a red underground just because I know we're going to want that to be pretty fast. And the water, we're going to use a mod I recently added. The set of mods that I use, which is this water pump right there, which is pretty cool. And it requires power, of course. So it produces a lot of water. So I'm not too worried, but it's cool that it's an actual pump, takes up some space, some power, all that kind of stuff. It's all good. So this gives us time, you know, space to put in our power poles. So we have sulfur being made. Now we need to load and unload it. So let's look at where we're going to load and unload all of this stuff. So this is called refine one plastic. Uh, I have enough space here for a two sided loading system. I'm going to grab some sulfur because when I set up the train, I want to set the train up. This train is going to be. Um, I want you to go to plastic, add, go, stop. Okay. <clears throat> so this I can use because I can do plastic in this one. And th three cargo wagons full of plastic is pretty good. It's a lot of plastic. Put all those in there. And I know there are mods to make this better, but I don't have any of those installed. So I'm just going to middle mouse click all of these to make sure they're filtered. And we're going to grab all of those. And I want to do that all the way along the line here, but I don't necessarily need to do that on camera. The other thing I'm going to need is inserters. So if we look at where the bounding box of this is, I could actually get away with an inserter all the way along like this. I mean, five is good. These will, these will eventually be express inserters. But for now, we want these off this direction, these off this direction. And we want a splitter in there somewhere. Granted, these are pretty slow for now. This process will be pretty slow. So we're going to want to come up. 
Oh, a little too far. And in. So we'll, you know, this process will be sped up slowly over time. Uh, electric poles, I need blue for that. Just a matter of getting these on the system here. I'm gonna want one for fuel somewhere. Okay, this one isn't um, uh, packed full, so we need to actually load those in there properly. And we want to set it up. These power poles are nice because they'll be able to load in from the other side. So while these are loading, I also want to filter all of this. Oh, I thought I could click and drag it, but I can't. There we go. And these will all load up, and I'll just filter filter these as I go. Um, because, you know, filters are nice because I can control exactly what goes into them. And this will be like a master plastic train. Anytime we need plastic anywhere in the game, I'll be able to use this train and unload plastic, you know, however much plastic we have. And it'll eventually speed up, no big worries. But this first set of plastic is definitely going to be used uh, in um, making of new blue science, which requires red circuits. I'm going to take this one off. And one more power pole should cover it. It's like so. All right. So our train, um, which I don't think we can rename or anything, we have set up now a plastic train. And I'm pretty sure batteries actually need plastic. No, they don't. It must have been Bob's Mods that did that. Yeah, Bob's Mods batteries were actually plastic and lead. So, yeah, he must have must have changed that recipe. So that's that helps us. I actually don't need uh, plastic in my battery area. But we do need sulfur. That's what we were originally working on. So this process a little bit trickier because we're gonna we're producing two at a time I'm thinking if we go f two two so one side will have three but that's okay because we're already using kind of our system here We go so I'm gonna route these around and down through here and we're all gonna have two cargo wagons full with that with the sulfur so I want another splitter this was the oil unload and load station here. I don't want to mess with that at all. Car, you're kind of in the way. So this is, kind of want that to be there. All those there will be good. 
Hopefully we're running out of iron here. Let's sneak around. And I'm out. So let's go grab some iron. Wherever I can here. Six, one, two, three, where is it? Oh, almost. Okay, so our petroleum gas is running out, um, which is understandable because our heavy oil is maxing out. We don't have any sort of cracking going on, so we'll eventually be able to make even more petroleum gas because of that. So I'm not too worried about it, but I want to keep a close eye on our oil. I like building systems that can be extended upon. Okay, we need some more iron. Oh, water. Okay, how are we? Get out here. Let me grab some more rail just because. And iron. Look at your iron is all backed up. I do have the ability to make the uh, better steel furnaces. Uh, however, they pollute more and all that kind of stuff. And I'm really not wanting to have a big pollution set up yet. Because so we need laser turrets to do to do anything and we need batteries batteries for that too so we need to get this set up up and running here it's kind of the top priority okay so how many engines oh I should have picked up some steel while I was down here luckily the car makes it much better traveling around here. So we have a lot of steel just sitting over here. And then engines, I should have another 50 available pretty, pretty easily. Yep. Okay, so I want another two of these and I want two cargo wagons. And we have plenty of iron, plenty of steel, good amount of copper. Tree farm is filled up, which is good. Okay. So, now that we have plastic, I need a, I need a train for sulfur. For some reason it put all my fuel into this train here. And I'm completely out. I'm not out of oil. I'm out of petroleum gas. And I'm guessing it's because of heavy oil. So we will build another storage tank and just hope for the best. That will probably fill up pretty fast. We could we could build bigger storage tanks, but nah. Not really. Okay, as far as sulfur goes, we need a set, a couple sets of inserters. So one, two, okay. Lots and lots, lots and lots of sulfur shouldn't be loaded in to either of these. Even though it'll be on the belt, these are all set up just for plastic 
so it shouldn't have any problems with that and I am going to set this system up like so and a splitter and these two should merge together um, you know and it'll fill these gaps in as it comes down the line so they're both kind of it's kind of being used half and half right now just fine looks like it's actually favoring oh it doesn't favor it it's just it's just how the petroleum gas gets separated okay I need to move this train actually I should have some sulfur on me let's try to set these filters up because I don't want to park it into that station and have it uh, start loading plastic in here which would be very very bad because this is the sulfur train so let's uh, load all these I'm not used to middle mouse clicking at all, and my middle mouse click on my mouse is actually a little sturdy. So let's then set all of these filters, because if I move the trains, this will just fill up with plastic, and I don't want that. So let's just go through it here. And there we go. Now I can move the train and not worry about plastic being loaded into the wrong thing. So if we set this one up to go to this refine one plastic. So let's set up refine one plastic, add it, go. It'll stop here. It won't block our intersection. And this one we are going to hopefully go straight there we go and as soon as we pop out that'll go in so that is exactly how we wanted that to work and that should load the sulfur and this won't actually put plastic into the into the into the thing so we're all good with that no worries and now we are building up. It's amazing that these aren't actually, oh, it's a light oil now. Yeah, we really need to get that researched. So our first plastic train, we are going to want to route to a place to make, to start making our red circuits because that's kind of the goal of this playthrough. Uh, I know all these episodes with setting up the train might some people might think it's a little tedious but this is how you set up big train systems it's not one track at a time it's you've got to set them up to be expanded on fairly quickly all right so where do we want our main circuit production area I'm thinking right down here would be a great circuit production area we've got this huge blotch of copper this medium large blotch of iron right here that would be a great spot for circuitry and if we build circuits close enough we could actually put them right on the bus red circuits and green circuits so that might be a good idea So where does this track go? It just goes over to there. So if I bring a vertical branch up around, I can probably merge right in there. Because there's my track right there that I want to be the main load on loan station for bus-related, base-related items. So that'll 
have to be tackled next episode. So I thank you for watching and I will see you next time.